Hello chess lovers, Sonen here and in this video I want to share with you a very dramatic game played between Emil Sutovsky and Vasily Ivanchuk. This game is from 2011 FIDE World Cup. Let me flip the board and watch the game from Ivanchuk's perspective. Sutovsky opened up with e4 to which Ivanchuk answered with g6. He goes for modern defense. Let me tell you that at this point Ivanchuk was in a must win situation because the first game he lost. And now he's trying his luck with modern defense, not Sicilian which leads to double edged positions, but modern defense with which he wants to somehow surprise his opponent. d4 bishop g7 knight c3 d6 and f4. In return white is choosing a very aggressive pseudo-Austrian attack. Uh, yes, Ivanchuk uh, decided not to go for standard pierce defense, uh, decided to refrain from uh, early knight f6 development in order to prevent the line starting with bishop g5 and only in here once f4 is made, the bishop's diagonal is blocked, he played knight f6. Knight f3, black castled kingside and e5. From this move on, white is starting to emphasize his dominance in the center. And this move actually took Ivanchuk by surprise because he started to burn time. Uh, earlier in his game, Sutovsky had played bishop d3, the most common move in this position, but in this game, Sutovsky played very aggressively and after knight fd7 he went for h4. By the way, I have to tell you that d takes e5 is also playable. An alternative is that move. And after knight d7 we see h4. Uh, this line was introduced by David Bronstein almost half a century ago in a game against Fiorentino Palmiotto, played in 1959. Yes, uh, with an early home push on the age file, white wants to organize a quick attack and just checkmate black king, you know? This is what white intends and in this case actually an utmost precision is required from black side. After h5 we see c takes d4, h takes g6. Yeah, this is very strange, you know guys, that uh, Sutovsky is playing this aggressively because it's Ivanchuk who is in a must win situation and not he. Instead he is adding fuel to the fire and is going for very sharp positions. The line chosen by him leads to a peace sacrifice and with his last move he offered the knight on c3. d takes c3, g takes f7 check, rook takes f7. Uh, this taps into a pin but this is the most accurate move because king h8 steps into a forced mate after rook h7 check black king is getting exposed too much and yeah the king is in a mating net that's why at this point we see rook takes f7 bishop c4 e6 Ivanchuk is on the right track Knight g5, let me tell you that bishop takes e5 is not good because in this case black has a strong knight takes e5 response and can fight back thus successfully can neutralize white's attack. That's why white played knight g5, c takes b2, bishop takes b2, queen a5 check, king e2, knight f8. At the time this was a novelty, before this black was usually playing d5 neutralizing the light squared bishop, but in the game we see an interesting looking knight f8 move, which seems to be very solid, you know, and after king takes f7 we see f5, and it turns out that this is the key moment in the game, and f5 is the losing move. Instead it was better to play queen takes d6, and seems like that in this case the game is still in white's favor, but in the game we see f5 and now let's see what's the problem with it. Here we have bishop takes e5, rook h5, king e8. Now Ivanchuk wants to consolidate his position and let's not forget that white king is also exposed. Queen d3 and the bishop on b2 drops. Yeah, black is already leading materially and has a clear advantage. Uh, Sutovsky still tried his luck, tried to create problem for Ivanchuk, but 
black's position is super solid and there is nothing white can do. So in here already by harassing black king white is managing to dominate materially. Rook takes h7 followed but now after queen takes a8 suddenly black pieces, uh, the minor pieces and the queen are jumping into the attack and are successfully managing to finish up white king. Yeah just no way out and soon white will find himself uh, in a mating net king g7 the bishop on e6 also dropped king f6 queen takes h7 in return white won black knight but very soon he resigned king d5 is an alternative but this also leads to a forced mate uh, the queen cooperating together with the bishop or managing to kill the enemy king King f8, queen f6 check and at this point resignation followed. If king g8 then of course uh, queen g6 or queen e6 are allowing or leading to a forced mate but you can even play uh, queen takes a1 win the rook that's also winning. Uh, that's why at this point Sotovsky decided to resign. Yeah this was a very dramatic game right guys a very sharp one where first it was white who threw all his anger at black king made a peace sacrifice early on in the game but Ivanchuk's defense turned out to be impregnable he then relied on white's mistake organized the counter attack and finished up his opponent uh, in the end a chess puzzle for you where the task is to find the mating line for white as usual we'll wait for your answer in the comment section thanks for watching we'll see you in my next video